Hello and welcome in to another Movie Commentary Monday, where I do movie reviews. <laughs> reviews, roasts, whatever the movie calls for. They're not even reviews at all. They're just funny commentaries. Settle in, grab some popcorn, grab some Laffy Taffy. I don't know what you're eating. Eat, eat whatever you want, man. I'm not here to tell you what to eat. This week, we're going to be watching a classic. Titanic. I've avoided this movie for a long time for four different reasons. One, I'm a contrarian. It's just, it's my thing. It was my thing. It's not my thing anymore. Number two, I know how it ends. I know that the Titanic sinks. Spoiler alert. Not only that, but I also know the final scene where Jack is in the water and Diane's on the wooden board. And there's like enough room on the board or whatever. There's like, I saw some article where they like did tests on the board to see if it would sink with two people on it. So I know how it ends. Also, this movie is like super long. I haven't checked the official time, but I think it's close to three hours. It's three hours and 14 minutes and 52 seconds. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And then number four, I'm not really into period pieces. However, this movie does have some things going for it. Great cast, Leonardo DiCaprio, Kate Winslet. Also, I stumbled upon <laughs> this is weird video. It's like two and a half hours long. It's a YouTube video of like the Titanic sinking in real time. I clicked on it being like, yo, I'll just skim through this, watch like five minutes. And then I stayed for like an hour and a half. $3.99 in HD. Yeah, I got you. I got $4.19 with tax. Fuck yeah. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Titanic. Is that real footage? Oh, hey, by the way, the reason I wanted to do this movie this week is because this is like one of the biggest movies of all time. And I know that it's going to be quality. I'm going to roast it at times just because that's what I do. But it's going to be a good movie overall. Next week, I'm planning on doing a movie, a new release that looks horrible. It looks so bad. It's going on Netflix on the 10th, I believe. And I think that's going to be next week's video. So I want to build up with some good cinema here. And then next week, we'll tear down some awful cinema. What the hell is this? This looks sci-fi. What, are they searching for the Titanic? Does this take place in the future? Oh, damn. Uh, see, I thought this was all back in 1912. Seeing this, boss? It's payday, boys. What do they find? Why are they so happy? No diamonds. Oh, they're looking for diamonds. Oh, damn! Titties! A piece of paper that's been underwater for 84 years. From it intact. 80... Is that meme? It's been 84 years from this? Is this the old lady? It's been 84 years! Is that from Titanic? Rose DeWitt Decatur died on the Titanic when she was seven. Wait, Rose? I thought her name was Diane. Why did I think her name was Di Jack and Diane? No, that's a song. Oh, shit. Jack and Diane. Oh, there he is. Hey, no, oh, come on. You actually think this is you, Nana? Wasn't I a dish? <laughs> Wasn't I a dish? Do I look pretty? Am I a dish? I'm the whole goddamn meal. Nowadays, it's you're a snack, but back then, you're a dish. So the diamond had to have gone down with the ship. You see the date? April 14th. I think she has the diamond. She just gave a look. That was either her just being old, or it was like that look she gave. That look there. And he's like, that diamond's down there somewhere, and she's like, how is she gonna be of any help though? Does she know where the diamond was? I guess she could give information, but she could have given the information over the phone. Why did they bring her out to the ship? I don't understand. So what happens? She splits right down to the keel. Oh, ah, oh. come on, I wanna go. Let's go back to the past. It's been 84 years. <laughs> okay, just try to remember. Yay, hey, there she is. Anything at all. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Oh, Kate. Kate. There she is. So this is the ship they say is unsinkable. It sir. is unsinkable. Sir. God himself could not sink uh, this ship. What? <laughs> Are you really going to add this foreshadowing? This ship ain't going down. I tell you. It just looks directly at the camera. It ain't, it ain't sinking, guys. Captain's going to approach them and be like, oh, this Titanic here, unsinkable. Won't sink. I would stake my life on it. 
Not gonna sink. Ain't gonna happen. My wife of 30 years, loyal as they come, would sooner go down on my co-captain than this Titanic ship would go down on the sea. <laughs> and then cut to the co-captain like, about that, Captain, uh, you know what, I'll, we, we talk when we get back. <laughs> Leo? There he is. I recognize the back of his head anywhere. Because we're going to America. Full house, boys. No. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we're riding in high style now. Get out of Those here. guys that lost the ticket afterwards, like, they see the ship goes down, they're like, oh, my God, I am blessed. Ah, you're all fucked. One thing I really like about this movie so far is you can actually feel the majesticness of the Titanic. Like when it was built, this is its maiden voyage, and it was like this massive event, biggest ship ever, unsinkable, and going across the sea. Honestly, the the irony of that story just has to be perfect for everyone else living around that time. This touted unsinkable ship, this this pinnacle of human manufacturing this is the thing we've built up to all these years and then it sinks on its first trip out that story is just awesome hey it's a whale i would not let my friend get up that close to me in that position with that face you know what i'm talking about i don't is he into guys is is leonardo dicaprio into kate winslet in this movie or does he have some secrets that he took to the bottom of the sea with him. I don't know, this is, this shot here, this screenshot's a little bit telling, Leo. Moving object ever made by the hand of man in all history. Yeah, yeah, see here's what I'm talking about. It was just so majestic. It was this huge event. It's cool to hear him talk about how excited they are about it because this is like a monumental moment in history, even before it sank. <laughs> is she gonna kill herself? Oh my God, I think she's thinking about it. Oh, Leo, where are you at, man? Leo, quick! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Well, she can't do it. She's gotta make it to the end of the movie, so I know. But, still. Stay back! You let go and I'm I'm gonna have to jump in there after you. Ever been to Wisconsin? Ha! <laughs> hey, uh, yes I have! Where I live! They have some of the coldest winters around. Facts. I grew up there near Chippewa Falls. Me and Leo might be brothers. We might be related. We're from the same state. You ever been to Wisconsin? Oh my god, I should have watched this movie so much sooner. Ice fishing is, you know where you- I know what ice fishing is. <sighs> Man, you cranky for a suicidal bitch. Ooh. She gonna slip. She gonna slip. No. Oh yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. You have some free drama. Might as well exploit it. <laughs> Oh, they're gonna run in and see him on top of her. Oh my god. Oh my god. This looks terrible. Get back. I don't move an inch. I slipped and I would have gone overboard, but Mr. Dawson here saved me. <laughs> Why did he take his clothes off? That doesn't explain that part. That dude almost stripped naked. The young lady slipped so suddenly and you still had time to remove your jacket and your shoes. That's what I'm talking about, man. It's suspicious. Dude's on to him. There it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Perhaps as a reminder of my feelings for you. <laughs> as a reminder of my feelings. More like, as a reminder of how rich I am. I'm filthy rich. I am dirty. I am dirty as shit. I need a shower. That's how rich I am. There's nothing I'd deny you if you would not deny me. <laughs> See, that's what I don't understand. He's so desperate for her affection that he's like, hey, I will buy you anything if you just like me. Do you want to have to pay someone to be in your presence? That's, yeah, I don't know. Open your heart to me, Rose. Open your hearts. I'll open my checkbook. That's fucking ridiculous, man. That <laughs> thing's worth like a billion dollars. He just gave you like a billion dollars. Look at that thing. You would have gone straight to the bottom. God, this movie's so charming. I think it's Leo. I mean, it's the majesty of the ship, but then it's also Leo. You love him? Pardon me? You love him. I love the necklace he gave me. I don't have to leave. This is my part of the ship. You leave. Well, well, well. Now who's being rude? Stupid 
Thank God you, damn it. This is so cute. Oh, this is Bring good. This is good. Ooh, she likes the titties. Hey, ooh, more titties. She had beautiful hands, you see? Always got a fetish. I think you must have had a love affair with her. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Just with her hands. Just a fetish. Just she a fetish. A Ew. That's disgusting. It is. <laughs> you see the range on that thing? <laughs> dude, that dude over there. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Range on that thing? <laughs> that side eye. <laughs> oh, it's on his chin. Ew. Oh, I've seen this part on TV. Walking down the stairs. I think I turn the channel right about now. Because I was like, I'm not sitting here for four and a half hours. With commercials? Mm. Got everything I need right here with me. Got air in my lungs. I mean, I love waking up in the morning not knowing what's gonna happen. Or just the other night, I was sleeping under a bridge, and now here I am on the grandest ship in the world, having champagne with you fine people. Yeah, yeah. Hey, there it is. Yo, they brought him to the table to like make fun of him. You're like, hmm, how do you like third class? But then he comes through with his nice little speech. Make it count. Oh, he just passed that note super smooth. God damn, he's the perfect choice for this role. Hey! 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 That's a great juxtaposition, right? It's like a first person shot, music's loud and active. And then just cut to this very quiet, stuffy party. It's what you call a smash cut. Great job. Oh, dude! Does he know? Did that spy tell him about the party? I feel pain! Hey. Yes you are! And my Dude, you got some anger issues. We're gonna have to work that out in therapy. My wife in practice, if not yet by law, so you will honor me. We had a little mess on my accident. We had an accident, the whole table's flipped. You are not to see that boy again. Do you understand me? What is at any time in any movie a parent forbid their child from seeing someone else? And that child obeys. It never works out. Really only use this what happened to the friend? What happened to Leo's friend? Where did he go? He's been gone for like half the movie Excuse now. me, sir. Another ice warning. Oh, not to worry. Quite normal for this time of year. <laughs> it's an ice warning. Oh, don't worry about that. This ship has as much chance of sinking as my co-captain getting it on with my wife. Did we do that joke yet? Did we do that? Okay, we did that one? Okay. Jack. I'm engaged. I'm going back. Leave me alone. Step up. <laughs> he pushes over on the side of the ship. Like, well, he wanted to die. There you go. See you later, Rose. And <laughs> push her, dog. Push her. Trust me. I trust you. You've known him for like a day. You've known this guy for one day, and you trust him with your life already. I guess he saved you, so that's a good sign. I'm flying. Do you know what flying is? You're not flying. I'm flying, Jack. You look like Jesus Christ pinned to the cross. Hey, Watch out, he's got a hand fetish. Just know what you're getting into. A very rare diamond. Jack, I want you to draw me like one of your French girls. <laughs> There's the line, man. I knew that line was coming at some Wearing point. This. I thought she said it in like a se when she was in the sexy pose. I've seen like parodies of that, so they're like in the pose, and that's when they say it. But all right, it's way less sexy when she said it. <laughs> oh, yo, wait, whoa, whoa! I'm sorry, I can't show you. There's nipple here. Is this PG-13? We see full boob. Wow. Oh. Head down. I didn't know there was actual nudity in this shit. Titanic. More like tit-anic. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That wasn't a great joke. However, I have to be the first person that's ever made this joke. So, uh, bonus points for originality. So, bad joke with the bonus points added on to it makes it an average joke. So, welcome to my channel where I deliver average jokes after you apply the bonus points. <laughs> well, he didn't take the diamond, did he? I thought it was weird that she would show him. Like, not only that she would do that because it's like one of the world's 
most expensive items and she's showing a guy that she's known for two days but also why show that in the movie as a director oh it's gonna crash in a little bit oh here we go here we go oh 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 i don't think i've ever seen such a flat car hey well we have a moment uh speaking of your wife how has she been captain <laughs> <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Where to, miss? I'm nervous. Put your hands on me, Jack. Oh, she's got a hand fetish, too. Wait, are they steaming up the windows? Wasn't the front down? Did they close it up to keep the stank in? My brain was like, oh my god, she's being murdered. <laughs> nope, just her vagina. Oh. Oh. I've got a better idea. <laughs> Let's crash this ship. <laughs> that would be like the ultimate villain move. Let's get an iceberg flown in. Let's fuck this ship up. Let's kill them all. I'm getting off with you. Uh oh. Uh oh, it's about to happen. Look at that, would you? Oh, the lookouts were distracted. Ah, oh, Leo and Kate Winslet, they're responsible for the ship well, crashing. To... What's that? Oh, fuck you. Fuck me! Jesus Christ! <laughs> There's the friend. Yo, where has he been? Oh, you little spy bitch. Half the people on this ship are going to die. Not the better half. <laughs> Fuck off. Rose? Rose, come back here. Are you cold? Oh! oh. Hadn't we better get the women and children into the boat, sir? Women and children first. Yes. Speaking of women and children, Captain, uh, about your wife, me and her are having a child. We might die, I just wanted to let you know. You are making jokes before about how this wasn't gonna sink unless I had an affair with your wife and then I, I had the affair. This is my, this is not my fault. Jack! Jack! I'm sorry! You're gonna have to go find some help. A hose? Oh. <laughs> what if I use water to fight water? I mean, it works with fire, right? Fire fights fire. She just takes the hose to him, hoses him down. He's like, what the fuck are you doing? God damn, this is cool. This is so good. Ah, his hands are his livelihood. It's hopeless that way. Well, whatever we do, we've got to do it fast. Jack! Oh, they're reunited finally. It's been like two hours since they were last in a scene together. God damn it, son of a bitch! Stop that! What's the use? Nobody's listening to us anyway. Well, they don't listen to us at dinner either. Come on, let's play. I'm the survival, all right? Don't worry about me. Now go on, get on. Oh, she's actually getting on. I know they end up at the end together, like he's at the base of her. It's like floating board. How does she get on a floating board if she gets on a boat now? Now something happens to this boat right now. Ooh, now here's some shots. Oh my god, this movie's so well done. James Cameron. I mean, he's one of the better directors ever. Shit, this is gorgeous. Oh, oh, oh! I knew it! I knew it! Rose! Rose! What a mistake! Oh, what a mistake, though! That was so stupid! Oh, shit! I put the diamond in the coat. And I put the coat on her! Oh, she's got the diamond! I knew it! I, I said it at the beginning. I think she's actually possessing the diamond. We can't leave him. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, bro. Don't open the gate, please, please. Yeah, good job, bro. 
I think he's gonna use that kid to get on a boat. Either that or he's gonna leave the kid behind. Cause it was a juxtaposition. Rose and Jax tried to save the kid and he either doesn't try to save the kid or tries to use the kid. Oh, what did I tell you? He's gonna use the kid. I have a child. I'm all she has in the world. Step back, step back, I say. That's it, man. Goodbye. Oh, he's gonna keep playing. Are they gonna come back and play? That would make me feel really good. I love this. Just resign to their fates. Die doing what you love, you know? Wow. This is so good. Oh, water's flooding in. Oh my god, this is so good. It's sad, but it's so good. <laughs> it's like the notebook. <laughs> That's how the notebook ends. Ah! <laughs> no. These scenes of chaos are just... I mean, I could go on and on about it. It's just amazing. And then to juxtapose it, I keep using that word, but to juxtapose it with the people that have accepted their fate or the people that are playing their instruments. Not only do I think playing music during this is cool, it just adds a nice through line through all the panic. And it's not like it's part of the soundtrack, you know? It's they're playing this calm music which juxtaposes the chaos, but it's actually being played on site. Oh, he hasn't accepted this, his fate. It's been a privilege playing with you tonight. Oh no, I was just talking about it. Literally like 30 seconds after I finished talking about it, they're done. It'd be funny though. It'd be funny if they're like, all right, now it's time. We should go on our way, try to find a way to survive. And then they start playing again. Is this guy gonna survive? <laughs> the friend. I hope the friend survived that. I think that was his death scene though. He got ditched by his friend for the girl. And then he gets no movie time until the end when his other friend dies. And then he helps cut the line in order for the boat for the other people to go. And then <laughs> he's trying to escape. And then he dies. How much fun would it be to be one of these extras? Just slide down? That's gotta be a fun day on set for those two. That's gonna kill you. That's like gonna kill you. That's too high of a jump. Oh, he hit the propeller. Bro, wait till the thing breaks. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. To the other side. That's not. That's clever. It's vertical. That's crazy. But you gotta jump at the exact right moment. If you don't jump at the right time, you're gonna get sucked under with the ship. The ship is gonna suck us down. Take it well, I tell you, man. Physics. I might survive this situation. I don't know. Me and Leo. I could. Hey, Leo. Me and you could survive this shit together. I'll be your new best friend since your last one I think is dead. Oh, it's the, this the driftwood. This is the driftwood. <laughs> that is a big piece of wood. <laughs> Why no, he's trying. He's trying to get on it right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the weight. Honestly, the weight. I don't think he can get on it. I'm gonna make a joke about the instrument players, you know, like coming back up. They're just like, <laughs> they'll be backstroking or something, playing their instrument. I want to make that joke, but I'm getting really sad, and I think the comedy has to stop. <laughs> like, I love you, Jack. I don't have the conviction. Oh, she dropped the L-bomb? You're gonna get out of here. You're gonna make lots of babies, <laughs> and you're gonna watch them grow. You're gonna die an old, an old lady, warm in her bed. You must promise me that you'll survive, that you won't give up. I'll never let go. Rose? Jack's gotta be dead by now, right? Oh. 
Jack? Jack's still good? Jack! There's a boy, Jack! Oh, she's content to die here with him, but then she's gonna remember the promise. She promised to survive. All the whistles. Always looking for a rose. He wants a diamond. He married, of course, and inherited his millions. But the crash of 29 hit his interests hard. And he put a pistol in his mouth that year. Oh, he committed suicide! Yo, the Great Depression got him. I don't even have a picture of him. Ah, oh, hold on, hold on. I can help you out here. Hold on. Leo DiCaprio images. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Is this the picture you wanted? Rose? Is this the one you wanted? No? What about this one? Is this what you wanted, Rose? Where's this diamond, though? Like, that's the, that's the heart of the plot. They're not gonna resolve it. They have to. Big movie like this. Oh, is she gonna commit suicide finally? Like, she had that scene before where she almost did it and then Jack saved her. No, no, that's not gonna happen. Oh, yo, it might happen. No. Yeah? No? I knew it. Is she gonna jump in with it? That <laughs> thing's worth like $14 billion. Why didn't you sell it? Pawn that at some point. <laughs> the sound she made when she did it too ah. Ah. it's like a little mini grandma orgasm as she threw away 18 billion dollars oh oh she's gonna die now okay here we go oh it's gonna tell her life her life without jack i i'm not emotionally prepared for this oh she became amelia Earhart. She took on a new identity and flew across the ocean. She did it for Jack. Ride horses, they talked about that earlier in the movie. He was gonna teach her how to ride horses. Is that it, is that it? No, no. What, what? I'm trying to think of what significance down here. Oh, Jack, by the clock. For some reason I got the urge to make an interpretive dance off of this song. I think I'm trying to shake the sadness away. This was a spectacular movie. I put in some jokes though. See, that's- I, I like roasting bad movies, but I can make good movies funny too. And especially in a movie with a runtime of 3 hours and 14 minutes and 51 seconds. If I can condense that down into like a half an hour or so experience for you, then I feel like that's a good way to uh, go through a movie. You know, you don't have to spend three and a half hours going through this, you know? No, man, I have a ton of fun experiencing movies with you guys. Next week, it's going to be the worst movie I think I'm ever going to see. It's a, ne it's a Netflix indestructible... I don't remember what it's called. I tweeted about it, though, and I saw the trailer and it looks awful. But then the week after that, I think, to all the boys I've loved or something like that, that actually looks good. It looks cringy at times, but good. I'm excited to do that one. But next week... It's gonna be that really bad movie, and I cannot wait. I'm gonna roast the shit out of that movie. If you guys wanna watch more of my binge watches, here is a movie that I didn't think I was gonna like, and that I ended up enjoying. And then there is my Love Island series, which, even if you don't think you would like, give it a watch. Because I think in the end, you might end up enjoying that. As always, guys, I love you, and I will never let go. <laughs> Alright, can I go cry now?